Huntington's disease stole my childhood. Huntington's disease is a killer. There currently is no cure. As a child, I always knew something wasn't quite right. I knew this was not how an adult or a parent was supposed to act. The irrational behavior, the fierce mood swings, temper and anger. In hindsight, it all makes sense. But to a nine-year-old living through it with no clue what's going on, it was terrifying. I feared, hated, felt sorry for, and loved my mother. It was all very confusing and it's affected my life in every aspect since. A year after getting married, my mother was diagnosed with Huntington's disease. Supposedly, no one in the family had ever had it. Her father died young, and her mother's still alive at 92. They say it was a fresh mutation. That year, at the age of 22, I became her legal guardian and caregiver. I'm worried all the time for her safety. I can still remember getting calls from the police saying, your mother's wandering the streets, or she's sleeping on the lawn of the local fast food joint. I dreaded every time the phone rang, or I heard sirens in the streets. I was outraged at the condemning stares of strangers who assumed she was just a vagrant drunk. Two weeks before she died, something kept telling me to bring my video camera to the nursing home. And that was the last time we saw her alive. I don't have the gene. Doesn't mean that I've escaped the effects of this disease. Huntington's disease, in some strange way, brought us closer together. I can't remember hearing my mother say, I love you to the end of her life. This is something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. I pray every day for a cure for Huntington's disease so that no other family has to endure what we've endured. Let's put our brains together to support brain research. Visit www.neurofilmfestival.com.